Hey guys, this is Big Dave. I'm your tour guide for meteorology this semester. I'm here at my house in Morro Bay. It's a beautiful day. Uh, a little foggy out over the ocean back there, and we're gonna learn about that kind of fog in this class uh, this semester. So I'm gonna do a brief um, introduction here of the syllabus. You can click on the link and read the syllabus in more detail if you would like to. But in this class, hopefully, you're gonna learn about not only fog, the fog here smells a whole lot better than that fog in the Central Valley, by the way. We all know what that fog in the Central Valley smells like, right, on a hot summer night. But um, we're going to learn about how to make it rain. There are different ways that that can happen. We're going to learn about things like why it's maybe uh, wetter on the west side of the Sierra Nevada than it is on the east side. Um, we're going to learn about seasons, why we have them. Maybe you've noticed that, that we have seasons. Uh, we're going to learn about hurricanes. Um, Hopefully you will learn about um, tornadoes, lightning, and thunder, and maybe a little bit of weather forecasting, and then some climatology also. So the book that you're going to want to get, I'm using the 13th edition, it's The Atmosphere by Luchens. And uh, if you want to get an older edition, I'm fine. This stuff doesn't change that much. You can save a lot of money going online. You can buy this book for less than half price, or rent one, or get an online version, but the book you got to have the book for this. A lot of vocabulary words and, and other things that you will be using. Exams, they're not really going to be exams, per se, like I normally do them in the classroom. Um, you're going to type out your vocabulary. You're going to type out a study guide, including the questions and the answers. And there'll be one or two essay questions on each exam. Uh, there'll be one map quiz, and you're basically going to make a map for me, and you will turn that in. That'll be worth like 25 points. Uh, several smaller activities you'll do, and I'll do little short lectures to try to help you with those. Those will be worth probably 10 points, somewhere in that ballpark. The drop policy is don't drop. I will find you. I take it personal. Why would you drop this class? You're all gonna get you're all gonna get good grades. If something in your life happens though that's kind of extreme and you need to drop, uh, take care of it yourself for me. Okay? Um, I'm not going to do it for you, but you don't want uh, an F showing up on your transcripts, and I don't want an F showing up on your transcripts. Speaking of grades, at the end, 90% is an A, 80% is a B, down to 66% for a C. That's why everybody in this class, if you try, is going to get an A, B, or a C for sure. Uh, just a couple other things. Um, don't turn your work in late. If you do, I'm going to take points off probably. Um, depends how late it is, how many points that I'll take off. Um, turn your work in online right side up. Don't make me read things sideways. I start to get a little pain right here in the, uh, in the neck, guys. All right. So check your email all the time and check announcements. Um, if you have trouble uh, with Canvas, I'm not going to be your technical support guy. COS has a hotline and Canvas has a hotline. I can't be at your house and try to try to fix things. It's important you turn things in in file formats that Canvas will accept. For this class, that's a Word Docs or that's a JPEG. If you turn them in with weird file extensions, it, it, it won't work, okay? And I won't be able to, to grade, your, grade your assignments. So, 